Go, yo, 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 Weather Channel, Dot the Wave, back at it again with the boys. Brett, uh, shit. <laughs> Young Brett Hart, my boy Magmore. Yo. My boy Slutty Bones. Bitch in the house. And my boy Velociraptor. What's going on? And we're back at it again. Got a lot of topics. It's the old Forge crew, nearly. Good enough. Yeah, missing a few out of the old, all the crew. Our main man, Slutty Bones, has got the first topic, so we'll roll it over to him. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to bring to attention was uh, bullshit and lying, okay? So uh, if you're a bullshitter, then you don't know anything about it. You just, like, you try to, like, just bullshit your way through it but with a liar they know what's right and they choose like to go the opposite obviously oh, okay. and so like would you rather have somebody always bullshit or always lie like like how would you want the world to be would you rather have it like all bullshit where everybody's just like trying but they don't know anything or would you rather have it where they lie like like it's like how it is today pretty much See. where it's uh, honestly it's kind of going the way of bullshit but yeah <laughs> I'm much more of a big fan of the bullshitter, because it's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta think the bullshitter's just trying to get through the shit, you know? Yeah, but right. I mean, like, a lie, I mean, it just depends on what kind of lie it is, or if it's like a white lie, like, mm. yeah. but I mean, it just really depends. See, the yeah. bullshitter's putting in an honest effort, but like, he's, yeah. you know... But, but the liar is, yeah, like, yeah, If he's, like, he, like, trying to, like, mislead and, like, I don't know, bring... Yeah. Right. some shit on you. And yeah. But at the same time, at least the liar knows what's going on. I mean, and maybe they're maybe they're lying for a reason. Maybe they're I mean, you got to think like like a lot of politicians, you know, are bullshitters. Yeah, yeah, and that's liars. True. Yeah. And liars. I don't know, when you think about it though, like it's bullshitting a... itself is almost like lying because it's like you don't know the answer to something. But you say you do, <laughs> and yeah, you present I agree with that, that as the answer. <laughs> so it's like it's not like directly like lying, but at the same time, it's you you're misleading people by you know trying to like act like you actually it's know like, what's okay. going on. It's like if somebody was in a car wreck and like they were about to die, and like they're like, oh, I need a a trach done, and like you have a guy there, and he's like, let's say this hypothetical, it's a bullshitter. He's like, yeah, I can do it. He doesn't know how to do it, all right? He tries to perform the trick, person dies. Like, oh, I thought you knew how to do it. All right, he's just a bullshitter. Okay, a liar would be like, um, <laughs> they're like, oh, do you know how to do a trick? And he's like, yeah, I know how to do a trick. But then he obviously, like, just doesn't know how to do a trick. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I don't, it just depends. Don't like, if you know, it's like, I don't know. Because, like, if the guy was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know, I, like, because... If you ask the guy, oh, did you actually know how to do the trick? And the bullshit would be like, no, I had no clue how to do it all. But I said I did. And then the liar would be like, oh, I knew I couldn't. But, like, I just tried. Mm, I mean. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. I mean, at that point, why wouldn't you just be like, whatever, I don't know much. I'm just going to wing it here. Yeah. I mean, give it my best. But uh, here's my it. thing. If, like, if the liar is going to lie, you know, you got to think they're not a good person. At that point, wouldn't you think they're like, hey, I don't give a fuck about this, you know, and be like, mm -hmm. I'm I'm taking off, don't know how to fucking do it. Well, yeah, but some <laughs> lies are, like, for the benefit. Yeah, you some, know what I mean, I mean it, like, it depends yeah. on, like, why you lie, like. Some people know. lie for good. Yeah, like, there are some yeah. lies that's, like, you just, you have to lie for the, so it's, like, it, you have to just weigh the evils, right? right? And it's I mean, like, it's, like, it's, like, a little kid, like. You don't go around to a little kid being like, "Oh, Santa Claus ain't real, you dumb bitch." <laughs> you know, like, like you tell him a lie. You're like, "Oh yeah, San Santy will be here soon to deliver your presents." You know, because like, why would you? Call you ho. <laughs> <laughs> why would you crush their dreams? You know. Yeah. That's so I agree. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like it just depends on the situation, definitely, and it's like, 
and it's just like it's you're gonna have it either way. There's no going around it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Tell you one of the greatest bullshitters of all time. That's Forge Master play. <laughs> <laughs> that's our true. Good he friend. knows it. <laughs> the leader of the Forge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Shout out. Yep. But your senior prank was fake, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shoot! I forgot about that. Oh wow. Um, oh man. What was Charlie's senior prank? Which you definitely they, yeah. Did they definitely say go over that? Charlie, he said for his senior prank, what did they... What they did took they all like, the desks and put them around the library. Right? Okay, well, that was just one small part Wait, of no, it, Wait, no, I thought right? he said they built the fucking pyramid out of them in the gym. I thought he said something about, like, having pools uh, in the hallway yeah, or something <laughs> like that. See, not to be not to trash on our boy Forge Master plays here, because we all could just be wrong... But this might just show how many times he's changed this story. <laughs> I think true. that's true. I think it, it's, it's that's true. what makes it like yeah. uh, bullshit. Is just because the fact that like everybody has a different take on the yeah, story. That, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I remember like <laughs> I heard the story like way after you guys, and when he told me, you guys were all like, "Wait, no, 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 that's no, not what you I said to it. us." Okay, the real story is he took the desk. He st- they stacked him around the library, and then they're like, oh, wait, that's not what we want to do. So they took him and they stacked him in a pyramid in the gym, and then they just got pools afterwards. Oh, yeah. yeah. It sounds like it. I mean, believable. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of happens. course. I mean, just another day. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. I got a story, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Um, and right. I told Caleb this, and uh, so I was in music class. You told Velociraptor. Oh, Velociraptor, my bad. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... I'm in music for the listener, and it's like my morning class. And uh, we show up, and we had gotten our second test back. Um, and she was like, oh, uh, everybody did kind of bad. You know, we had like nine Fs on this. But, like, a lot of people don't show up to the class because it's early in the morning, and it's kind of just a bullshit class. And uh, so she was like, oh, you know, first thing I see when everybody comes in here is they're on their phone. So she's like, starts picking people out in the classroom. It's like, oh, well, you know, what were you doing on your phone? Like before class just and she's like an older lady and like one kid was like oh i was playing a game um and then like another kid was like oh i was watching a youtube video well this lady in the back um kind of looks older like i don't know probably 20 some maybe 30 um just blurts out wasn't even called on uh, i was like i was just looking at my uh children's pictures because they uh passed away <laughs> what the fuck? yeah instant like what the hell That's and a- then it was like a shocker because it's early in the morning. It's like that shit woke me up. And like the teacher said, oh, like what? Like uh, how did it happen? Do you want to talk about it? Like, oh, like I'm sorry to hear that. And she was like, no, nah, I'd rather not. Just ended it at that. And we just continued with class. That's, that's so a, weird, That's man. a total shutdown of the teacher, uh-huh. right? Like, like, she's like, that's why you got an F, bitch, or two of them. You <laughs> pictures of your dead kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, children, nobody's going to say that. Yeah, her children had passed. Plural children. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Like that is yeah. it. I don't know. Like if you if it was like oh I'm just looking at a picture of my like you know my daughter you know she passed away or something like you'd be like oh shoot you know like maybe you know she died of like cancer or something like that that's tragic obviously but like children it's like was there a house fire what like she just had like one kid die at a separate time like the separate times yeah, oh be, dude that could be multiple up. tragedies yeah Ooh. it was uh, a mcdonald's epi- epi- epidemic <laughs> yeah oh my god uh, the kind of reminds me of uh and bayshore yeah oh my gosh and bayshore that's inter- you should definitely tell the listeners about that uh well and bayshore like I mean, God bless her. Yeah, she was. She only meant the best. But I was in public speaking. Well, she she was actually in a lot of my classes in first semester high, of college, actually. And uh, freaking, I don't know. She's just kind of weird. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Like, uh, for example, like the the most weirdest occurrences were when uh, we were in public speaking. Uh, her speeches were very long and drawn out and usually about anything else but what she meant to talk about. Oh, no. But, yeah, like, uh, like, classic speech. 
was uh, we had to give a speech on how to do something. It could have been anything, like literally, like just how to do anything for, and yeah. that for like five or so minutes. Well, she was going to show or going to tell us how to bathe her, uh, her, I guess her friend, as she calls her. Her friend is a, uh, a two grand sex doll that she <laughs> dresses up. What was her name? Mary Jane. Mary Jane? Oh, Mary yeah. gosh. Which, I mean, awesome. I yeah. guess it's for her, uh, I don't know, like, I guess she has, like, PTSD, I guess, and, I mean, somehow that soothes her. Which, I mean, yeah. whatever, you know? I mean, it did the job. Well, the weird thing to me, though, is, like, didn't you say she got it because, like, because, like, her sister, like, died oh. tragically, but at the same time, doesn't she, like, bang the sex doll is that okay, right okay okay, right? okay yeah she was in that's, a relationship like see okay that's that's the speech here like yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh the house two speech she was gonna show us how to bathe mary jane oh <laughs> well obviously when she so started she's like <laughs> she's like well, seeing as we don't have any water, I can't show you how to bathe Mary Jane. <laughs> but she continued to undress her anyways oh and change gosh. her clothes. But which, I mean... There, was her boob coming out? <laughs> her fun. boob was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Wait, so did she, like, undress her all the way? Yeah. Did it have, like, nipples? Or, like, what was, like... I don't know, like, uh... Nipples were pierced. Like, what honestly, was going on? Honestly, now that I'm, like, kind of remembering, <laughs> like... I think she just took her down to, like, a tank top, maybe. Oh, okay. She's like, I don't want to be showing off Mary Jane. Oh, my God. Like, That's honestly. only for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, here's the thing about the whole sexual attractions towards Mary Jane. Uh, because for the briefest moment during her speech, like, mind you, like, the briefest moment, she mentions how, uh, how she wanted to be... How she wanted to be a man... And Mary, oh, pretend yeah. that Mary Jane was her, like, girlfriend. And, I mean, okay, you yeah. know. A total bombshell it, yeah, dropped like, in the middle of Ivy Tech. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, that's just, I don't know. I, I just thought it was, like, so weird because I remember you said it. Like, it, it sounded almost like it was, like, supposed to be her sister, but almost... But at the same time, it was also her lover, which just sounds really... See, I don't know. Like, Ugh. I don't think it's supposed to be her sister. Because, oh, okay. I mean, like, Mary Jane's like a... Fo- like, it's like a woman, basically. Right. Uh, oh, her sister was young? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I was aware. Yeah. Mary Jane was grown. God. Gotcha. But imagine this, right? The 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 lady that's in Trevor's music... Uh, Shitty Bones music class, right? <laughs> Slutty Bones, boy. Slutty Bones, whatever, man. Um, that's Anne Bayshore's mother. The, and okay, she's so too young to oh, be her mother. No. <laughs> Wait, how young was this girl? Who her kid, yeah, the, Trevor? How, how I mean, young was this like, girl? Like, What'd she I describe mean, her? Like, she was, was she like thirty? I would like, say she's just, about thirty. Uh, she looked bigger, but like her age could have been deceiving. Like she could have been oh, younger. Okay. Like she was kind of like. She mm. looked old, you know? She looks like an old-looking person, kind of, like, you know... What did her... Like, what was the haircut? What was the haircut? I want to say it was just, like, the bob. <laughs> the bob? <laughs> the yeah, bob. but it was, like, greasy. Like, uh, it's a real, like a blue Was it haircut. all the way around? <laughs> yeah, it was just, like, yeah. There um, was no patches, if that's what wow. you're thinking. Because, like, okay. But, like, with the doll story. So, she was willing to show you guys the doll's vagina, but she stopped at the tank top. See, I don't know. <laughs> she was just like, nah, dude. I, that's yeah. when I draw. Honestly, the line. like I'm, that's yeah. the parts that I'm not recalling is yeah. like, like how fully undressed she got, Mary Jane. But was she mm. thick? Like how big an ass? You <laughs> I mean, like, eh, I mean about like, no. I don't know how to just, like just what. Like, could you fit two fists? <laughs> I mean, at least one. Ugh. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so weird, dude. I mean, yeah, like the skin. I, I guess. Uh, I mean, two grand. It had to be. It has to be good. It did right? it look like <laughs> real skin? Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, it has to feel like <laughs> sort of like skin. You'd think, yeah. but didn't she bring it to all your classes? Because you had like most of your classes were. No, her? see, uh, 
I had another class with her, and she it was American history, and that was taught by this uh, this nice old guy named Christopher Dixon. <laughs> he was a he was a big boy, but he was cool. And uh, anywho, old fuck, old Ann Bashford. Yeah, Ann Bashford. Fuck, <laughs> but uh, old Ann she br- wheeled in Mary Jane into class one day, and. Uh, uh, old Chris was a little bit taken back. I could see as soon as she wheeled the man or her in, and uh, as he was a calling attendance, he's just like, "Oh, is that your friend there?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's classic like, Chris. Yeah. And then she goes into the spiel. Oh you know? no! But anywho. And he's like, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? And then, like, <laughs> that's all he leaves it. At. <laughs> that's so badass. Okay, mind you, like. To just the onlooker, it could be a little creepy because I mean, uh, Mary Jane's tatted up a bit. Mary Jane, like the sex doll, has tats. Okay, when I say tats, I I think she just drew on her with marker. Oh, okay. But like I'm saying, it's all over the face. Oh my gosh, that that's weird. Mary Jane has face tats. <laughs> Wait, okay. Another question: Does this sex doll does it have like a wig? Yes. Oh my. She gosh. can. Ch- Yes, she showed us how to change the wig too. I forgot. About oh that. my god! But Mary Jane could be um, her sis, like could be like a representation of her sister, because I'm pretty sure her sister was named Lauren, right? See, I, that's, that's she was I in know. my she was in my brother's grade. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. See, I think so she'd be I think she lost I think she lost two sisters. Actually. Oh really? The oh story my goodness. More. Yeah, that's she crazy. lost one sister. I think she drowned. Damn. Right. She was real young. Yeah. And then, then she had an older sister. Which, she was in a car crash. Yeah. Wow. I mean, rip, rest in peace. Yeah. But it's uh, always like crazy when you hear about those families. Like, like I think my grandma was one of four kids, and she was the only one who lived like over thirty. Yeah, back in the what? day. Yeah, like fuck. Yeah, like, and one one of her siblings, like, he was killed by a train on his prom night. Like, they were like. They were, like, on the tracks or something, and I what? think, like, it's crazy because, like, I guess the train, like, it, um, the bars, I think, didn't come down or something like that, and uh, for some reason they were, like, crossing the track, and they got, you know, it boned like, by this train, and actually there was another car, like, down further along the track that also got hit, but, like, them getting hit by the train further up slowed down it enough like to where those people actually live but like oh, i don't know it's that just, person that they so say crazy. cured cancer oh of course yeah <laughs> no i mean it, it was just kind of like just a really strange story but i mean it's just you know it's crazy that, to that see. is really wild yeah yeah Did they sue i mean probably not it was just back in the day you know people i mean really back in the day i imagine and, like in a lot of places there weren't even probably yeah, cross guards. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I mean, mean, in like Europe and shit, like they put up like fucking like iron walls so you oh, can't yeah. fucking go over that shit. They're like, stop. Yeah. That's uh, some third industrial revolution infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, uh, shoot. Anyway, you were, were you talking about Anne Bayshore or the sex? Oh, yeah, the sex doll. It's all tatted up, right? Right. So, like, she just. Does it look really we- like? Does it look like just a little kid scribbled on it, or like? I mean, honestly, I never really got a good look at it. Oh, the okay. So I couldn't tell you if they were like actually Josh, like yeah. very intricate or not. But yeah, I mean, okay. I s- there's a lot of color. I'll okay. say that. Josh, yeah. She paid for tattoos, like actual tattoos. I, they're not actual tattoos. I yeah. think they were drawn on. But I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> also, like, if she's like sexually attracted to this, like this doll, like you got to think like. What does she do with it? Because, like, if you're a guy and you have a sex doll, like, okay, you put your dick in it. It makes sense. But, like, (laughs) if you're a lesbian and you have a sex doll, like, what? Do you put a dildo inside of the sex doll? Do you, like... Sit on its face. Yeah, it's, like, I don't really understand. Yeah, that's that's the other thing about it, too. Like, the skeleton that was, like, that supported it. Yeah. It was, like, really stiff, so it wasn't, like, real, like... It wasn't, like, rag doll or anything. Hmm. It was, like... She had to, like... It was, like... She said it's, like, over, like, 100 pounds. Oh, my... Well, I mean... Like, 110 pounds, I think. Can you fix that bitch up? Yeah, I mean, well, I like, guess here's, like, that's the thing, too, like, 
she wheels it around in a wheelchair, right? And, like, when she wheeled it up to the front of the class, uh, she fucking... She, like, had to fucking get, like, in, like, a deadlift position. Oh, my <laughs> and just fucking, she's like, oh! <laughs> and I was like, oh. yikes, that looks rough. Yeah, that's... Because yeah, I, I imagine just, like, bending over and picking up 100 pounds over oh, and over yeah. and over and over. Well, and, like, I, I, I guess that kind of limits the sex positions that she can do. Because yeah. I guarantee, like, if she's trying, like, to do stuff in bed, she's not going to be able to just See, lift it up over her and, like, yeah. manipulate it the way she probably wants to. See, here's the thing. I don't know, like, like she'd get dropped off all the time, mm-hmm. and it'd always be a guy. And I mean, I don't. What do you saw mean? It. It, oh, the, a guy would always drop. Them yeah, off. I, like Is I just he older. I mean, it was. I figured about the same age. Huh. But I mean, I don't know. That's. I don't, it weird. may have just so been. It, family, so it didn't look maybe. like your dad or anything. No, nothing. I mean, I, like honestly, yeah. before like I knew her at all. I was oh, like, oh, okay. I mean, I figured it was just her boyfriend or something. Yeah. Or just, like, some guy she knew, at least. Or, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe her brother. If, yeah, what if she has a boyfriend and they both, like, have threesomes with the doll? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That is <laughs> weird. Sounds great. It's oh, yeah. sounds great. I like the idea of a relationship. Yeah. Would you guys fuck a sex doll like that? Like a, I mean, like a nice two hundred or two thousand dollar one. It'd be like, very tempting. I yeah, mean. like because you, you, like you like you'd kind of want to try it just to see what it was like, you know. I but mean, at the same time, it's really gross. If you yeah. spend, if, if you drop two grand, well, I'm not it, saying you, you're gonna, you aren't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, well, really. Like if I spent the money, I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's say I'm just saying like. Let's say you got it for free and it was brand new. Like, somebody just gave it to you. They're like, it's never been used and, you know, you believe them or whatever. Would you actually fuck it or would you just get rid of it? You know, it's like sell it or whatever. You flip it for a quick profit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like once you used it, then, like, you're not really going to be able to sell it, right? You just, you just take a little Clorox wipe. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I, I, hey, I just sell it. We just ask Anne as soon as it's out of the box, bath. that's when it becomes in question. <laughs> you, just, you just listen to Anne's speech about how to give it a bath. Exactly. <laughs> All right, okay, I got a question for you guys. It's kind of like a would you rather ask Kayla, uh, T- Tyrannosaurus Rex, <laughs> <laughs> over here, uh, the same question, uh, but have you have you guys seen like the Jake Paul's dad kiss the girl? Oh, yeah. uh, no. Thing, the video. You yeah. guys never saw that. Where <laughs> okay, J- okay. So Jake Paul and his fucking goonies and like and his dad were all like hanging out for some reason, and they're all like, "Oh, I'm a better kisser," and the, like of like him and his goonies were, and then the dad was like, "I have so much more experience than you guys. I'm obviously the best kisser here." And they're like, okay, well, there's only one way to test this. And they're like, and they just like went to like one of their, like, I don't know if it was one of their girlfriends or friends or something like that. It was like Tessa Brooks, like a girl also in the Team 10 house, one of her friends. God, yeah. And the dad is old as hell. Like he has a goatee, bald as hell. Yeah. He looks like he's at least 50 something. He looks like Louis C.K. to me. <laughs> yeah. But like, anyway, Classic so they're, <laughs> so, so they're like, hey, would, uh, they're talking to this girl and they're like, hey, would you kiss all of us to see who's the best kisser? She's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Blindfolds herself hmm. and like three guys take turns, like Jake Paul, the dad, and this other guy, uh, like kiss her for like, I don't know, it's not like a make out, it's more of like a, like a five second kiss. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Who's the quick kiss guy? Uh, Chris, uh, from yeah, Frank Chris from Frank yeah. Invasion. Uh, yeah, H3 just dropped a, a new video about him. It was yeah. kind of... I, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Anyway, uh, anyway, back to the fucking kissing thing. Yeah, there was like... So, they all just like, you know, I guess like ran a kissing train on this girl. And it was just real gross. I mean, and of course the girl was like... Yeah, it was number two, or or whatever one, yeah. like, the dad was. Ah. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, my God. And he did this gay spin around, yeah. and, and he, like, like, kissed her. Yeah, and he kissed her, and then he pulled out, and then he kissed her again. Like, three times. Yeah, he was so, so nasty. So, my question is, would you rather... Uh, like, <laughs> well, they haven't, you, like, seen it. Yeah, that's so the problem. It's kinda... Like, would you kiss uh, Jake Paul's dad for a million dollars on camera... With Hell a pop yeah. tag. Dude, yeah. F- pucker up, Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah. <Paul's> yeah. <laughs> I mean, great vlog. 
I'm gonna pull up a picture. I oh my gosh. Yeah, fucking show me the fucking smooch. Oh, I wouldn't do it. I mean that. I mean, yeah, it depends on how fucking gross he looks. I mean, first of all, he's gross, and second of all, like, you're kind of, like, r- completely ruining your reputation, you know, if you're fucking kissing, you know, this yeah. gross dude on camera. Ugh. Uh, yeah, he just looks nasty. Like, that's him. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Give him oh, a quick, yeah. quick the kiss. Is, the for thing a is, quick though, it's buck. on cam- it's on camera, so it's like. I mean, there's there's a video of I mean, kind of. Do like, I have to like it? Like, I mean, can I be like, hey, have fuck to like you, Jake Paul? <laughs> give me your fucking money, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, pucker up, daddy. Like yeah. three three million. I don't know how many views that like it would probably get, but like over a million views are gonna be on this video. And, like, in the video is going to be you and Jake Paul's dad, Can Greg Can they support Paul. Weather Channel dot the wave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you give a pop tag I mean, to the Weather Channel. <laughs> Sorry I had to get the fucking bag, y'all. Like, God. Do it. I don't know. If you get a shout-out on Jake Paul's channel, though, you just That'd have awesome. fucking 11-year-old fans listening to uh, you. Yeah, but we have... Sounds we awful. got We got a million of them all of a sudden. <laughs> you know what, Caleb? That is a very good yeah. point. Yeah. It's it's publicity. I think I'll just leave not- it to just fucking you cursing up Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> in his fucking family. Yeah, he's gross, but you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess Jake Paul really isn't as bad as the Logan Paul brother, because I mean, oh. he did the suicide and then he's shocking fucking rodents. Yeah. There's something I've been saying for years. You didn't see that? He was. Yeah, like right. I, yeah. there was. This was like more recently than the suicide yeah. force thing, like. He, there was somebody like for some reason there were like dead rats in his house and he just pulled out a taser and like shot it and was fucking you know zapping it. That's it's incredible. Like, it's like what the hell are you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's incredible. So it just, just, just kind of weird. Give another meme. Yeah. yeah. All about that respect. Another yeah. meme for the fucking war machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like. God, my favorite recent meme is still the. Number fifteen, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> like that that guy's voice is just so terrible. Like have you it. have you guys both seen it, Sam and yeah, Max? Andy showed me it. Oh my god. I'm gosh. not I don't know what you're talking about. It, it's just basically this guy who has like this channel <laughs> that makes you know, like watch mojo type top tens, except they're <laughs> top, 15. top fifteens. <laughs> yeah. And like and this video is called Top 15, like, mysteries solved by uh, 4chan. And, <laughs> and it, just, it just starts by saying, Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> the last thing you want in your Burger King burger is foot fungus. But as it turns out, that might be exactly what you get. And it's like, he just has the worst voice, and it's just such a terrible channel. It's such a funny meme. I mean, me. it's better the, like, the more you hear it. Yeah. Yeah, it truly. It sounds funny. <laughs> I subscribe. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Truly. Yeah, because he showed me it mm-hmm. just here, like, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, another topic though is uh you guys the other day talked about you say the switch might be the best console ever no like since the ps2 best console since ps2 which the ps2 is the best console. look let me let me say something real quick controversial opinion ps3 might be a better console than the ps2 and let me explain why I would say 360 is better than PS3. Look, let me explain why the <laughs> PS3 is way better than 360. First of all, it had a fucking Blu-ray player in it. Color. Like, like, we're like not four years movies. before Blu-rays were mainstream. You didn't have to have fucking three discs to play one goddamn game, you know, like on your... On your on your 360, if it was a big game, didn't you have multiple fucking discs? That's the stupidest on what thing. Game did you have three discs? Like I remember that for like PlayStation Two, like Metal Gear Solid came on like two. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so and not only that, but it had online service that was completely free. Like you guys said, like oh the Switch, you know, the online service is twenty dollars compared to the other big boys where it's sixty dollars. But like PS3 Day. It was zero dollars, and it still had online service. That's a fucking quality system right there. Yeah, right? you're forgetting. And let me let me the biggest let me, point. 
It had crazy taxi, Sam. So, it had... The Switch has Breath of the Wild. Which is so like... does the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, the Wii U's, uh, and it saved the Wii U. Uh, no, I don't think it's... It, I, nothing could save the Wii U. Yeah, um, honestly. My boy Andy Ireland had one. So Did Andy I, Ireland I don't really have hear a Wii U? You trash it ever. Yeah, he did. You know what's so funny, though? Like, everybody trashes on the Wii U, but praises the Switch. But really, like, basically they just took the Wii U oh, and, yeah. like, that's put what the I entire been, thing yeah. into the gamepad, and that's the Switch. Like, Switch and yet, smaller. everybody's like, oh, the Wii U blew, but the Switch oh, no, no, is awesome. Like, yeah, like, they needed the Wii U to happen to, like, progress forward. Like, yeah, to, really. To progress forward. But, like, God. Did you guys all have a Wii back in the day? Oh, hell I yeah. Still have mine. Yeah, like... My I still play the Wii with my siblings. Yeah, we want to get rid of mine. Yeah. It's just uh, we don't play it, so it's like play it's fucking good. tennis. Yeah. I mean, after you become pro, there's like there's like it's very <laughs> limited gameplay. There's no storyline. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, there's man. no immersion. You in gotta the game. get you gotta get Wii Fitness so that you can get fit. <laughs> Wii Fit was fun as fuck. Yeah, for the, the first, first uh, 20 times. Yeah. And then yeah, did you guys have, the like, the Wii board or whatever? Yeah, the Wii yeah, board. Yeah, dude. Some of that stuff was really fun. Well, and that shit was so fucked up. Like, I remember the pads, like, on it were just <laughs> always screwy. Like, you'd get on it, and you probably weigh like, I probably weighed, like, you know, 120 pounds or something when I was playing it. But it's like, oh, you weigh, you weigh 80 pounds. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's real good, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and they're just uh, like, oh, here's what your body mass index is. It's like, oh, I'm sure this is fucking correct you know <laughs> it uh, was oh yeah yeah <laughs> uh, always i don't know um what i remember using the fucking board for was fucking uh mario and sonic olympics yeah. fucking just going down that hill like a hundred miles per hour you're just like <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah. fucking jump with the new I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just remember that I like that. the wii um, kind of like, I don't know if it was obviously on probably other consoles, but like, it was the first time I ever played, um, Mario Soccer, which is a good game. And it was the first Mario time I ever sports played. games, mad underrated. Yeah, and Super Smash, Super Smash Bros, first time I ever played that was on the Wii. Mm. Fuck. Wow. Like, did you guys, it. did you guys have a GameCube back in the day? No. Uh, I didn't have no. a GameCube. No, I, but Garrett did, so. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I remember having a GameCube, but I don't think we played, like, any games on it for some reason. Like, <laughs> I out. know for sure that we had a GameCube, but, like, we always just played our PS2 instead, so. Right, yeah. right. I remember back in Nam, we went to our boy GB's. Yeah. Played Goldeneye. That's dope. Mario Baseball. Mario Baseball. Yeah, all like, the sports games. WWE 03. Or yeah. Just the classics. Oh, yeah, dude. 2K6. What yeah. a cup for fun. <laughs> just uh, well, that, that reminds me. What is... So, like, Trev and I have already kind of talked about this uh, earlier today, but Max and Sam, what is your guys' earliest memory that you can remember? Here's the thing, right? It's chilling. Chilling at home. The, the stereo systems post, posted up in front of me. I'm going to say I'm about two years old. Good guess, right? Because I was crawling. No, I mean, I mean, I could walk, but it wasn't like I couldn't. I wasn't fucking jogging on these boys yet, you know. Yeah. Um, stereo's on. I go up to stereo. I turn it all the way up, and there's two Bose speakers just blow my fucking eardrums. Right? I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then I turn it down real quick. That's the end. That's my earliest memory. Oh wow. You just got blasted by speakers. Yeah. That's kind of. It's probably earlier than two, I guess, if you were like walking, like just now walking. Like the I man too, you were probably walking pretty good. Hmm. I yeah, I feel like you're probably. Early. Maybe I don't know, Sam. Or... I feel like Sam probably he wasn't really fully walking until three. I mean, Sam's, <laughs> Sam's the type of dude who dislocates his knee by <laughs> getting his stuck in his bed. I mean, how's that my fault? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just screwing with you, but uh, honestly, I'm not sure how like young I was when this memory happened, but it's mm -hmm. the earliest one I can remember. Is uh, well, I was pretty young. Me, my sister, my cousin, my grandpa, and my mom were all at like the reservoir, like Mississippi Reservoir, mm -hmm. and uh, 
It was like a snow slash fog delay, maybe like ice. I don't know. It was okay. fucking cold outside. Yeah. So we were like, hey, let's go fucking to like the spillway. Okay. And check out the fucking ice. Yeah. And like, I remember like, there's like, of course there was fucking mad ice there, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, my grandpa like ripped off this like huge like icicle, and he's like, hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it is like. I don't know. I think we just like threw it in the fucking river. Oh wow! But uh, Dang. God, I don't. I have I no remember. idea how young I was there. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to tell, really, because you just sort of like you're like, oh well, I guess that was before this happened or whatever, you know. But it's like I have no clue really when it was, you know. But yeah, that's the problem with like me. I couldn't like I could think of specific memories, but I'm like. I don't remember how old I was or, like, if that happened before or, like... Yeah, like... Yeah. I may remember one and it could be way before the the fucking ice story. Who the fuck knows? (laughs) Yeah. Of course. Yeah. For me, though, like, the earliest one that I can think of, at least, like, I I think it's probably the earliest, is, like, this one day, like, me and my older sister Kylie were, like, cleaning up, I think, like, my bedroom or something... And earlier in that day, like, we dropped a picture frame or something like that. And so, like, of course, there was, like, you know, glass got everywhere. But my mom, like, you know, basically just, like, cleaned it up by picking up, like, all the big shards. And she just, like, put it in a cup so that she could get rid of it later instead of, like, throwing it in the trash can where, like, it would just cut up the bag or whatever. But anyway, so I was just walking along, um, you know, with Kylie and we were cleaning something up, you know. And all of a sudden, Kylie looks at me, and she just starts screaming, bloody murder. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I don't know what the hell's happening. I don't know why she's screaming. And then I look down to where she's looking at, and at my ankle is just fucking blood everywhere, like, gushing out of it. And so I'm like, oh, shit, (laughs) you know? (laughs) So I start screaming, too, you know? And, of course, my parents come up, and they see it, and we uh, go to the ER and everything. But, like, um, God, I also remember my dad was, like, carrying me, and he was just, like, trying to wrap paper towel around it and, like, (laughs) press down on it, but it just wasn't working. But anyway, like, we went to the ER, and I was like, I don't want stitches. I don't want stitches. No, I don't. It's it's too scary, you know? (laughs) And they're like, "Uh, okay, you know, we'll just, like, you know, use, like, butterfly uh, band-aids and, you know, bandage it up real good and everything. And, of course, as me and my mom go to walk out, it just starts fucking bleeding everywhere all over again. So, you know, they stitch me up, and, of course, it's no big deal, but... Anyway, yeah, that's that's probably one of the first memories I have, I guess. But yeah, and obviously you probably just remember it because it was like traumatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, Wait, that was glass that did that. Yeah, it was gla- like I was just walking along and it was like in a cup. Like I'm not even sure exactly how it happened, and I didn't feel it at the time, which is kind of wacky, right? But like I was, it just like basically just like happened to cut it exactly right to where it just. Mm-hmm. That reminds me. Cut an artery or something. I don't know. What'd you do with like the apartment door? Oh shit, dude! dude I the... forgot about this. Okay, so, um, like, essentially, like, okay, so like in our apartment, you know, of course, there's like the upstairs part where it's all, and of course, like the entire apartment and the stairs is all hardwood, and yeah. James had just, or I can't remember if it was James or me, but somebody had just cleaned in the apartment and had like like used oil on the floor to like you know clean it up and you know make it look nice and everything and so i was going down the stairs uh you know i went up there i can't remember what for but i was going down the stairs and of course it's slick as fuck and i'm wearing socks and not holding on to the damn handrail so i start sliding you know and like it's sort of like where you like you're like, like you're oh, sliding. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no, it's like where you're like not on your ass, like falling completely, but you're like standing and still <laughs> falling, you know. And then like I like of course stick out my hands to like try to stop me, and it my left hand just goes straight through the fucking like glass window right at the bottom of the stairs, and it just completely fucked it up. But um, uh. Anyway, like, I, uh, 
so anyway, like, I... And another funny thing about that day is, like, I was just about to go to my step stepmom's house... And so Colton Musselman was coming over to pick me up, and oh, like sh- the and so like literally ten minutes after I cut it up, like I I think I just like wrapped a towel around it or something, and then he comes up, he's like, hey man, how you doing, you know? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing just great, you know? <laughs> and he's like, judging by the look on your face, you know, something's horribly wrong, you know? What's what's the matter? And so I'm like, and you know, I'm I told him what happened or whatever and he's just like oh shit <laughs> we should probably you know take you to the er or something so yeah you get that, stitches yeah i ended up getting stitches it, i mean it wasn't that bad i've still got a kind of i got a scar from it but you know i don't know and they and they ended up instead of putting glass in that window they put plexiglass there in case it ever happened again it wouldn't fuck me up you know <laughs> but yeah i don't know did you guys like did you guys break a lot of windows at your house when you were younger? Never. Oh, nope. There was just like only one window ever broke, and it was like the one in the front of my house, like the really big one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh my we gosh. Were, me and Avery were Critical real, hit. Really young. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were really young, and this was probably like we were really into baseball kind of when we were younger. Yeah. Because uh, it was kind of like one of the only sports you really could play that or soccer, you know? Mm hmm. Um, yeah. And Avery, like, just, like, tossed the ball up and then just hit the damn ball <laughs> oh and, like, God. went right through the window. No, oh, so, and then, like, it was Avery, not you. Yeah. I didn't do it, but, like, that's the only thing I, like, I remember that, like, vividly just because wow. it was such, like, you know, because, like, obviously mom and dad are, like, pissed because it's, like, our big window. Yeah. And, See, I remember at my house. Put the we... fucking sauce on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's so and, like, dope. They were, yeah, he just, like, tossed it up, you know, just, like, act, like. And I don't even remember why he hit it like at the it. house or anything. It was just like at the point in time where like you're like you're young enough that you, like you just didn't get it at first. Yeah. But then once it happened, you're like, oh shit! Like what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> yeah. I remember at my house though we broke a fuck ton of windows. Like just it seemed like <laughs> we broke like two windows a year. Like I remember this one time. <laughs> what? I remember this one Annually. time. <laughs> well, because you guys know like my my sun porch sort of has windows like all around it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they're I all could like see. storm windows. Yeah. And so like those windows broke all the time, and we just would replace them. You know, but like this one specific time, I remember me and me and Dove, my stepbrother, were like. For some reason, we were coming from the garage, and we were, like, racing into the house, and, like, we're both just booking <laughs> it right at the house, which it's not, a sh- like, a long span. It's probably, like, yeah. maybe, like, 15 feet in between that, or, like, you know, 20, 30 the amazing feet, something race. like that. And so we're, you know, we're sprinting right at the house. And, you know, I get through the door, and Dove is just too far to the right, and he puts his hand right through the glass window. And, oh, shit. and of course, this was right before we were going on vacation, so we had to, like, take care of that before we... Uh, I think we were going to, like, Holiday World or something like that, but... Yeah, we just... I don't know. And I remember this other time, like, I think... Grace, my stepsister, and I, like, got in a fight for some reason, and, like... I think she, like, I don't know why, but I guess she, like, pushed me, and I just, like, fell into a window, like, or, like, but, like, there was, like, a blind in between, so it didn't, like, fuck me up or anything, but I just, like, it was in the front room, so I just glass. completely broke it, yeah. So I, I think mean, your windows are really weak. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Where know. Where are you buying them from? I don't know. <laughs> it's just the damn tubs. Yeah, the tubs, they're wild. Shout out to my boy, Dove. <laughs> yeah. But like, oh man! I never broke a window, right? But I remember like f- like hitting them with like footballs and like soccer balls and shit all the time. Oh yeah! And, you know, it just being loud. You know, like oh, my dad just getting real pissed. You know, so like I yeah. book it for the fucking woods after I hit it. You know, <laughs> and just hide in the woods. You're just gonna be like, you're some like, damn ya! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just yell my name as loud as he could. Oh, I just shit. fucking be like hiding behind a tree. Oh my gosh, that's funny. and like. Yeah. As soon as I came in, take that, Dad. <laughs> as soon as I came in, he's just pissed. But yeah. that's as far as it ever went. Yeah, I remember when I was like really young, my dog bit me in my foot, and Ooh. like it fucking fucked my foot up. Really? Or like, like he like, to, like he go like to the well for like it? he he got it like he was pretty young still. Is so thunder? yeah, oh, okay. uh, but he got it like with his like canine tooth Ooh. like so it just kind of like pierced all the way through kind of or not all the way through but it pierced yeah. pretty far in and Dang. i was like yeah 
And so, of course, I was like young, so I was like freaking out. Dang, do you still have a scar from it? Yeah. Oh wow, that's kind of dope, honestly. I still have a scar from uh, when like the like the sled that we used to push in football, you know, uh-huh. like it like fucking dropped on my foot one time when we were moving oh, it. Wow. I still have a scar from that. Dang. Yeah, I have, like my toes kind of all fucked up because when we were working at the school, like we were moving desks and stuff, oh, and we were yeah. like. We were had Mrs. Cabbage's desk, and we were moving it into like her Which, new like new room, mm-hmm. and uh, it was like heavy as fuck. So we we're like, all right, you know, we're just gonna pick it up, you know. Yeah. So we're picking it up, and Harley like dropped it. So it was just like <laughs> God. All, the weight, just, mode. all the all the weight was just on my side, and then like oh. for like a second, and I just dropped it too, and I like moved my feet, but it just drilled my pinky. Oh, so those are the those are the work. No, no, these He's, are new. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the. I thought he had on the work shoes. But like, but. I drilled my pin- like my pinky toe. So like, I have this like big old bump on my pinky oh. toe. Like, I think I probably like fractured it a little bit, but it was only like my pinky, so yeah. it really didn't affect it too much. Yeah, but. this isn't like a, you know, it's a regular old student desk. This is a big old wooden yeah. teacher desk. It's Mad. big yeah, as fuck. We didn't fuck. take any of it out. That was oh, the problem. No. Like we just were like, oh, we're just gonna because we were strong boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, who wants to go the extra mile and take all this shit out? Right. Anyway? Of course. Like we're moving death. Like we're moving classrooms. Like who gives a shit? Yeah. Like I mean, I imagine you had more work to do, so it's like, hey, we gotta get this fucking bitch moved right. now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We always try to get shit done like quick. Yeah. Just because like. Yeah. Yeah, hey, we gotta sense. go on break soon. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to Harley. Yeah. Greatest coworker of all time, <laughs> always pushing Trevor and me to the extra mile. Hey, like, don't don't be dissing on uh, what Ryan and Jeff like that. <laughs> Let's be, <laughs> they were your guys' favorite coworkers. Debatable. <laughs> I mean, we weren't really with. We were more with I Jeff. Mean, Okay. Yeah, not, to, yeah. Credit, not yeah. to criticize my man Ryan all day, but he just sat in his office. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's like, not to criticize yeah. the fam, you know. Hey, man. You you just gotta grind, you know. And I mean, you, you gotta take a week off every once in a while, you know. Go sh- go corn <laughs> go week. corn week, yeah. It's fucking corn I didn't week. Give a shit. I wasn't there anyway. Yeah, yeah it was co- corn week. Oh yeah, week. you were you you got out of there. So like the only person left was like Sam, I mean, Sam and right? Jeff. I mean, well fuck, dude. And, for a fair week, I was the only one there, and I was that oh. I was fucking waxing the elementary yeah, with damn a, Jeff. Oh god. I mean, corn week. I showed up two days. I was I, I just <laughs> yeah. wasn't having it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I could never do that job again. I don't know about Trevor, but... I could do it again, but I wouldn't want to. I mean, yeah. I could, right? I don't yeah. want to. Of course. Of yeah, course. like, it was just, like, the amount of stuff that... I don't know about Sam, but I know about work I did was worth way more than, what, $9 an hour? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, I don't know. I, I just had to put with a lot of people. I just didn't want to. So. Yeah, I get that. I don't know. Try working at fucking AutoZone for a mm. week. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I don't know. Apparently, AutoZone is the greatest job ever. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be cut it up. Waking up it's in the morning, the same old shit. Awful. Oh yeah. Like, didn't you? When did you guys have to go into work? My schedule now, I couldn't. Like, I just don't think I, it'd be so hard to get back into. It would take me weeks to get back into. It. I don't. I woke up. Like, I'm very slow at getting up. Like, Max the same way. So I woke up at four thirty every day. We'd mm-hmm. be there six, six. six. Yeah, six. it was awful. Because um, mm. I just remember, like, I would stay up later because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not tired and like I can't <laughs> fall asleep, so I'd stay up later. But then in the morning, you just kill me because, like, yeah. you're just so like out of it. Yeah, I, I still didn't go to bed till like one, two in the morning. So I was like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. And like I'd be napping on the couch and shit. Mm-hmm. But like after a while, you just kind of get used to it. Like, I don't know. After a certain amount of days, like. You're just kind of like it just becomes like a routine, like anything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, just, it was just like the worst. Almost it was it was the, the worst, worst summer of my life. Like, oh no! The worst two months, like, and like after like a while, me and Trevor just conformed to it, and, I, and like and like I just saw like I, I just saw us just just being there every day, like just looking over us, and like wow. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like. At first, I was like, Trevor, there's no way we're going to be able to do this for two months. Uh-huh. Like, it, was, it was the first day. Oh, yeah, the first Trevor day. Days. Because the first day, they had me weed whacking outside. Oh, yeah, for I remember the that. whole morning. See, so I was weed whacking. And you <laughs> fucked up your shoes. You completely <laughs> yeah. destroyed them. See, Trevor is weed whacking, and I'm with him, like, and I have, like, a bucket, and I'm just, like, He's picking up, up trash, trash, which was the best job <laughs> of the whole time. Yeah, we'll Sam, Sam no, was no, 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 it wasn't. 
because when Trevor and Harley picked up trash, they got to use the old mule, mule, and they were just driving along picking up. I had to walk on foot, and I was just uh, like, oh, my God. Yeah. Five hours, right? And I'm like, Trevor, no way we can do this all summer. Yeah. But then every week, I just saw us, like, I, I we just painted, looked back on it. We painted, which was, like, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, well, it was just better not being outside. Like, I don't know. Like, some of the outside jobs were fine. Like, picking up trash was all right yeah. if you could drive around. Even walking wasn't too bad just because, like, you could take your time, you know? And it wasn't, like, a, a sh- like it wasn't, like, really hard, you know, to maneuver or anything. Yeah. Um, but, like, definitely inside jobs were good. Like, painting was good. I mean, waxing wasn't too bad other than it took a dick year and they were real anal about it. Yeah. Yeah, they were very specific about it. So, if, if somebody was thinking about getting a summer job at the school, what would you say to them? Um, are you, are you a vocay boy? <laughs> I would just say, like, honestly, the majority of, like, why I hated it was the the bleachers because the bleachers oh, were yeah. a real bitch. But yeah. honestly, for a first job, I would say it isn't too bad because, I mean, it kind of like, because like, I mean, obviously there's worse jobs, mm-hmm. but like you kind of set the tone that like, oh, you know, like it can only it can, it can gets it can get a lot better, you know. Oh, okay. Because like a lot of the times, right? At least like you're you're working at your own pace, mm-hmm. like. Because, like, you can kind of set your own pace, so it's not that bad. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, like you know, we make we make Ryan seem to be bad, but, I mean, he was he was all right. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was just, we did um, a was, lot of, like, awful, like, just work. Like, removing the bleachers was, like, torturous, man. That was the here's, worst. Here's why they yeah. made it bad. It was 10-hour days, 6 a.m. to 4 p- to 4.30 yeah, it, so you didn't really have much to it do. It killed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, just like, mentally. And then, like, after, like, the first couple weeks, well, like, after the first week, like, your body just kind of, like, got sore just from, like, walking around and, like, really? like picking stuff up for that long. Like, I just know, I know about... Do you think like, it was because you weren't, like, sleeping enough? Oh, uh, no, I, I feel like, I like, first week I definitely, like, was sleeping up just because, oh, like, okay. I was like, oh, you know... I gotta like wake up for work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the first, like the second yeah. day you told me like you went right home and just slept on oh, like wow. the next morning. Yeah, like Crazy. I remember like I slept quite a bit. It was just like I don't know, like walking around for that amount of time, and like just like doing work was just like you know your body just isn't used to it. Sure. So then like your body just kind of like went through it, and then like I don't know, I I feel like I lost a, a lot of weight too. Yeah, I feel like it had me in somewhat of a shape, like yeah. you know, like that I'm. I'm just not in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I was, cause yeah. you just walk a lot. Like, you don't know how much you walk a lot until, like, you don't, like, you, like you weren't in the job anymore. But I walked, like, a shit ton. Yeah. Like, I can tell, you can tell when you walk a lot when you, like, uh, when you go to, like, the aquarium or, like, some, like, outdoor event, right? And you just, like, walk, like, all day long. And by the end of it, you're just like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. That's when you walk too long. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, during that job, I would walk just to get away from the work. <laughs> like, like, I would go see what Trevor was doing, oh, wow. just yeah. anyone. Yeah. But, but I always had, a, I don't know, we kind of made it fun. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I always, like, tried to, like, cook, cook like, shit with Mrs. Wands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, food, because we'd always and hide then, out. Oh, and yeah. then I took, I took the penalty for this, because it was corn week, and Trevor was in old, 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 uh, Bosque land, right? <laughs> yeah. And oh, so what happened was... I was just, you know, I was just in there, uh, I was in Cabbage's room, right, because, you know, she didn't give it, she don't care. Yeah. Right, and I was just, I was just on the old Apple TV watching just YouTube or whatever on my break, and, you know, Mrs. Wan's room is right next to it, and she got pissed, because she saw me, she's like, she's like, you guys didn't wash the, well, actually, we did wash the dishes, me and Harley did before quarter week, and, you know, Ryan's just like, that Trevor, he made all his food, he didn't wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like, yeah, you know, sure, me and Harley ate it, but we just blamed it all on Trevor because <laughs> he wasn't yeah. there. Yeah. But, so, now it's just me there, and apparently, all the drawers and everything was color-coded, and me and oh. Harley were doing this in the dark, oh. so we just threw everything back randomly. That's funny. She's like, all these were color-coded, I might have to go through all these kitchens, and we're just like, I'm sorry, Mrs. Wan, and like, I had to leave at that point, and I just oh, walked out. I mean, you're yeah. a home ec teacher, like, what else do you have to do? Like, right. sit on, sit on your, uh, like, computer, and, 
Uh, yeah. Look at the people that are in your class. Like yeah. you can't really, <laughs> <laughs> like you can't do anything. Check the grades. Yeah. <laughs> and, like mean, school. Have you guys started take home ec classes? I had not. Yeah, one. I never took I any. Took none. Not even through middle school. Yeah. You missed out. Really? They you were, liked it? Yeah, they were fun. Okay. I mean, I'd always forget to bring food to make, <laughs> so uh, like I'd always be like, "Yeah, I don't I got shit." Thought it would be fun, but yeah. I always just took like a like a wood shop class. Yeah, I would much oh, yeah, rather definitely. take a class with with Swantner or Schultz. Schultz. Yeah, I always had Schultz. Oh, <laughs> uh, Schultz was an OG, dude. Let's be honest. I mean, that man wore a fedora to his own wedding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. Yeah. Uh, oh man, how long have we? He been was a true bullshitter, though. Yeah, uh-huh. he, he was a bullshitter. He might have been a better bullshitter than Charlie. Yeah, he always had a story. He'd be like, oh, yeah, I was... Oh, yeah. Or he always had a friend. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was he, always his friend that yeah, did He had something. a friend who, like, that was, who was, like, a prince of, like, some Scandinavian country <laughs> or something. <laughs> or he's like, I leg-pressed over a thousand pounds or I'm a great baseball coach. And Max one more. <laughs> yeah, Caleb knows. Yeah. He yeah. fucking he was the witness. Yeah, Mr. That's Schultz thought he was like, fucking I know hot all about hockey. Wait, was Schultz there when you like pressed a thousand? Honestly, times? maybe. Or was it Eccles? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, who knows? Someone else was Let's there. Let's be honest. Look, we gave Schultz crap in back in the day for being a terrible uh throwing coach, but he would have been better having than Lori working. Oh so, my god. I mean she could believe drove Max out of the sport. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry. Like if Schultz sorry, was there, Laurie, it was fucking awful. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, but how long have we been recording? Uh, I... <laughs> about fifty-five minutes. Oh, okay. We're just going. Well, hell yeah. Um, I want to talk about the fucking AI. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I uh, I uh, brought up this topic before the podcast, um, and essentially, um, I. I don't know. I, I, I think it's interesting thinking about AI because so many, like, it seems on one hand to be the future of our civilization and, like, the best way to advance technology. But at the same time, you know, there's all these sci-fi movies that are saying, you know, oh, AI is going to destroy us. And then, and you might think, oh, that's, that's silly, you know, it's just fiction you know but at the same time then you've got a guy like elon musk saying hey ai is the wor- like the greatest threat to humanity and it's like shit dude elon musk you know he knows what's going on so like i mean he can build a goddamn rocket he yeah. just knows something <laughs> exactly oh my gosh yeah that was so funny how he he launched his his own car up into did you guys see that how he yeah, he yeah. launched his car into orbit dude and did you guys see the meme that was like a tweet from him that said like hey could someone give me a ride home <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought that was funny I don't know like here's my thing like what if he like gets that fucking roadster on Mars somehow and mm-hmm. just fucking starts make that's like the rover and it's just fucking getting all the data and shit <laughs> yeah. and there's like the fucking NASA's where it's just like going like two miles per hour or yeah. whatever I don't know it's probably faster now I'd imagine but yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> but, yeah it's like the roadster's just like <laughs> yeah oh my gosh um, you know what I'm tired of seeing what all the fucking Fortnite wins on Snapchat. oh my god <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, listen, here, yeah, listen yeah. here, I love Burton, and I love Drew, but all they ever put on their Snapchat is Fortnite bullshit, and I'm sick of it. Yeah, like, it just it's, wins, like, they yeah. just post wins of it, and it's like, okay, dude, like, it's a You it's want a, a free-to-play game, play, go like, you're gonna have yourself. a win every now and like, then. Actually, I'm just sick of Fortnite in general, like, it's so massively popular, <laughs> But it's so to me. It, it's so hey, to me. Minecraft did it first with the Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just so mediocre to me. Not like, to sound really sus here, but me and my boy Trev played it before anyone else. Did. Yeah, that's true. Like no one was talking about it when me and Trev were playing it. Well, of and, course. Like I mean, a, a lot of gamers started playing it, and then of course, like it, it kind of crossed over into mainstream because a lot of people are like, "Oh, this kind of looks cool. It's kind of cartoony." 
Oh, it's like Hunger Games? I like watching the movie Hunger Games. You know, and <laughs> so then fire. so then you've got guys like Harley McVeigh playing Fortnite, you know, a guy that's <laughs> never played a console game in his life. Shout out to Harbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Excuse me, what about AI? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to AI though. I mean, what do you guys We're on much we're on much a much more important <laughs> Dude, topic. Fuck Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. stop uh, talking about Fortnite. With AI, I would just say like it just depends what, like... Well, I mean, like, like when you think, the, like... How far are you, you going to go with it? Like, are you I mean, that's my thing. human abilities? Yeah, like, it just gets to a point where it's, like, it gets faster and faster and faster and it just learns more and more and more, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, eventually you'd think it'd catch on to it, yeah. like, I don't know. Just... But I think, like, I feel like you can program it in a way such that, well, like... Because you've got to, you've got to give this, like... Yeah, it You've got anything. to give this well, like, like device like sort of motivations or like something that it's aiming at, right? And so like if you create an AI, like as long as you like set its parameters well, correctly, like shouldn't I mean, it like shouldn't have absolutely no reason I mean, to like go against you, I guess? I don't know. I think the ideal solution or like the ideal way to set it up is like have it almost be like your like like you're learning constantly right mm-hmm. where like the only state in which it's off is like almost like your phone being off where it's not truly off it's right. just kind of like in a sleep state sure. but like if it retains like keeps on retaining more and information you know it's like i don't know i would just say it shouldn't learn at all like you give it the information it should have mm-hmm. well yeah, yeah but then it's, it's not, then it's not ai yeah, it's not at all AI. yeah it's just like a computer of sort. That's Maybe just VI, a, that, virtual the, intelligence, I don't know. Uh, yeah, or just like whatever you program. It's Machine like, learning, program. I guess. I don't yeah. know. It, it, yeah, if it's if it can't learn itself, it just becomes coding, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. I don't, I mean, obviously I'm not a, a software engineer or, yeah. you know, someone, someone that really knows about it. And so I just, yeah. I don't know. I think it's strange to think like, I don't know, me personally, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I don't really think like true AI is like very close. I don't know. Do well, you guys yeah, like, way? yeah, it's like, like nowhere close to being like, like able to do anything significant. Right. You know, like like yeah. right now, it seems goofy. Like yeah. to think that it could, you know, be our worst. It's like take oh, over. it's just fucking mm-hmm. Siri. <laughs> who knows? And you know, fifty, hundred years. Yeah. Who like, knows, you know? if you give but Siri know, like, the ability what? to walk I don't and, underst- like, like, make decisions. But at the same time, like, we Sh- are... <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good... She's just gonna play Fortnite. <laughs> 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 Drink Code Red Mountain Dew. Uh, hopefully. But, but, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of, like, the fear of AI, though, is, like, the fear that, like, absolute power corrupts, Right. But that's very much a human thing, right? Because, like, sure, we would be giving this, you know, this artificial intelligence this massive uh, sort of yeah, intellect yeah, they... and, and everything. But, like, what would motive like, like the I, only way I motivate could... it to, like, kill us, you know? Like, the, I could only see, like like power you know like electricity to like keep it on you know yeah. like to like whatever it would whatever made it yeah run. just to keep it self-aware that's yeah the only, like what i don't or understand. if it was like a danger to its own self-awareness right which i mean like maybe that is scary in itself if we if put we... up some goddamn wind turbines we can fucking keep them on <laughs> we can... yeah what's the, what's the everyone's problem with wind turbines i never understood that like you'll talk to I mean, like, I remember I, even, like, a couple of years ago, I was having a conversation with my uncle. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's really good. They're putting in a lot of wind turbines around here. And he's like, oh, man, those damn things are so ugly. They're just, I wish they would not put in a single one of those. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> well, I think a lot of the energy from wind turbines doesn't actually go to, like, the where it's at. But is right that now. a problem? I mean, what? Like, I don't. Well, like, you know, they pay for it, right? But like who a lot, pays for it? Like the community, like wherever. Like the, they, like the yeah. The people that it's built around. Yeah. That's what. It, like well, I I thought the way it. that it worked was like a company would come in and buy land from these people and then put wind turbines there and then they would you know 
Oh, I, I mean, energy. like, yeah, if a company. I mean, it takes a like, long time for them to like really like pay off. Like, it's probably like. I bet it's pretty expensive right now. Yeah, it's like the initial cost of building it. And, uh, yeah, right. No, I, under, I mean, that that goes with any alternative energy yeah. or really any energy in general. I mean, a, if you put in a coal power plant, it's going to take 10 mm-hmm. years to return its investment or, you know, five years, something mm-hmm. like that, because, like, it takes a lot of money to actually build something that will, and, you know, return power. Yeah, so say, fuck coal power yeah, plants. Yeah, yeah. In this day and age, is coal really, really coal worth apparently it? is very relevant because Trump is going. Oh, hey, we're going to reopen the coal mines and give all these you know con- <laughs> c- people in Kentucky jobs again. And then it's like, okay, well, what about in fifty years when the coal mines are mostly empty? You know, then we're just going to go through the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like I re- I forget like when I saw this, but I remember seeing like we have like left in at least i know in indiana like like we use like two percent of like our like overall like coal that we have i guess you know like which yeah we have a massive reserve of coal is that what you're getting yeah that's the point yeah but here's the thing say you start like heavily relying on that power Mm -hmm. and then it's like you just draw more and more from it you know eventually you're just going to deplete it all the same right i don't know and then on top of that it's just like you're fucking yourself up how are you gonna make your torches (laughs) <laughs> See, that's the only yeah. place I want my coal and charcoal. Exactly. Minecraft. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But I just... So many people, I feel like, are against wind, wind turbines, though, just because they say they look bad. And, like, to me... Like, if I see a wind turbine, I don't think, oh, man, that's so ugly. Yeah, like, like, yeah I mean, like... I'm like, wow, like, society's advancing a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's like... It's like, hey, yeah. that's kind of cool, you know? It's a b- yeah. big fucking tall thing, you know? That's <laughs> yeah, that moves. Using energy. That's fucking dope, dude. Yeah, I, I would say I'm against wind turbines, but I, I don't know, I've just heard, like, a lot about, like, you know, like, even when a company would put it in, like, the, uh, the area around would still have to pay taxes, I, I believe, on it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. They so should it's, ask... like, pretty much, like, it's almost like a, it's like a sports facility, you know, like, uh, the Colts got the the new stadium or whatever. Yeah, like the Luke Soil. And uh, the NFL, you know, they don't pay for shit. The people, yeah. like wherever it goes, they pay taxes mm. for it. Yeah. And the NFL that makes, yeah, billion like a probably billions of dollars won't pay for the stadium, but like the area right. around it will pay for it. Yeah, I mean that's that's just in general. You know, if <laughs> if taxpayers can be exploited, they will be. Yeah. So. Um, Something that people who don't or who think wind tu- wind turbines th- or look ugly, they should ask people who have to look at like the fucking huge coal plants and oh, shit yeah. that just like fucking just huge smokestacks and shit. Yeah. Or it's like, hey, have you been down to Kentucky where coal mining is huge? Because if you go down there, it's so poor and there's just trash everywhere. Like you'll look in the creek beds and there's just trash all along there, and it's just. I mean, it. I don't know, but and I mean, perhaps that's a you know a strange comparison to make between you know uh, you know these just poor families and wind yeah. turbines, but like well, I don't I'm know not... that's sort of a consequence of this economy relying completely upon coal mining, you know? Yeah. And now all of a sudden, not having that. I don't know. It's gonna be like District Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> District Twelve. Well, we need hey, the fucking mining. Hey, listen day. here. Instead of dressing up like coal miners, we're gonna dress up like you're on fire. Okay, it'll be really <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, shut out the Hunger Games. <sighs> yep. Oh, something I was thinking this week about the Hunger Games. Really? I, I just had this thought, right? In the Hunger Games, right? You know how they could have sponsors. Okay. Right. Why didn't the spot like? Like say you know you know how like Katniss and Apita's biggest enemies were the careers you know from District mm-hmm. like, one, one or two. two yeah yeah both districts right why didn't their their sponsors just call a fucking Rolling Thunder airstrike <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, really? whatever, whatever the careers were <laughs> and just off their ass. oh my god or vice versa I definitely don't think that's in the rule book but that would have been I hilarious. don't remember a rule book it's probably like 
I mean, I thought it was like, yeah, yeah whatever probably, you wanted to pay. It's like they barely got the ointment for Katniss up in the damn tree for That's like a true. cut leg. Yeah, so, well, you see, it's probably like money. I imagine they had it like regulated to a point where like mm-hmm. they couldn't just right. win every time. Yeah. Yeah. So like they're like, okay, if you pay X amount of dollars, you can send this care yeah, package. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, get this loot crate. Yeah, right, like in the in the movie, Peter was lucky to get that fucking soup when it was, when, it, when his leg was like hanging. They like, they like, they like they make out. out. Yeah, exactly. It's and like, it, hey, if you fuck, we'll send you some more shit. Yeah, pretty much. Like that. It was all just for like, it's like it's almost like views. You know, like YouTube. Yeah. Oh, uh, like they pretty much had to get some views. Twitch streamers. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Like they had to get viewers a, on them for like ointment. It's quite a thought. Yeah, dude. But. You know if that's the, if the sponsors were team players, they'd call at least the dogs or something. You know? <laughs> the dogs, yeah, it's only a seven kill streak, man. Like, come on. What are you doing? Oh my god! Imagine the Hunger Games had kill streaks. Oh my gosh, that would make it so much cooler. <laughs> but I mean, Boy. it'd have to be kill streaks because I guess if you die, you're out. There's no yeah, respawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, gosh. what if there was a kill streak? Like, you get ten kill streaks and then you get an extra life. And then they just shit, come in and res- resuscitate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, that actually that's a lot of kills though. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. how many people are in that? Oh yeah, there's only like twenty four. <laughs> yeah, like, like imagine getting ten kills out of twenty. That's like a tactical know. nuke right there. Yeah, like <laughs> yes, yeah, and fucking that's ballistic a missile <laughs> within the arena. Yeah. time for the weather everyone loves the weather <laughs> um in bilbao spain otherwise known as the boss country on monday february 26th it's going to be mostly sunny a high of 46 degrees a low of 28 and maybe precipitation probably not and a slight nine mile per hour wind Tuesday, February 27th, mostly, uh, mostly sunny, high of 39 degrees, uh, low of 30, 0% precipitation, uh, wind east to northeast, 9 miles per hour. For Wednesday, it's got a fucking 90% chance of rain and showers, so they're getting fucking wet, and it's gonna be... <laughs> kind of cold it's going to be about 49 degrees but uh this is probably going to be completely wrong because the weather's never fucking right you know Shout out uh, for thursday 9 11 cloudy with a chance to meet balls <laughs> <laughs> and that wraps up the weather hey we'll see you next week boys uh remain last tip for you boys uh buy a farmer's almanac oh oh Viewer question for the week. This is just for Jacob Blackford. Why is Slutty not an Olympic sport?